my back hurts. I have bunions. I'm too old to wear heels. Heels are killing my feet. <laughs> Lovely. I heard you loud and clear. And for the first time in my YouTube channel, I will show you the top six flat shoes to wear when you cannot or do not want wear high heels and how to style them. Hi, I'm Frederic and just to let you know, I want to be totally honest with you in this video. This video is being a challenge for me because I love wearing heels. But today I'm here to help you to feel comfortable and stylish in heels. If you want to know more about shoes and heels and how to pair them, please check my styling course. It will be linked below as usual. Let's start with the famous loafers. Oh, there's so many people who love them. So many people don't hand them, but you know what? You like it or not, they are always in fashion and it's a classic. So because they're quite a structured shoes and a little bit heavy, whatever, if they have a buckle or not, but especially in black, they think that's a classic pair to have. But don't wear them with white jeans because the black loafer is too much contrast with the pants and also it brings a little bit too heaviness around your ankle. So instead, swap your white jeans with a black jeans or black pants if you want to. And you can wear a blazer just to rebalance the figure and it's fantastic. Don't wear too short pants, especially with loafers because it's going to look like it's cutting your ankle. Instead, if you can, wear a wide leg pants, cover up just above the shoes and I think that looks very stylish. If you are sensitive at the back of your feet and the loafer is rubbing and it's hurting you, then don't wear those loafers, the close one. What I would recommend will be the open one. They're very comfortable and still very classy. Also, try to wear them maybe in a light colors with something light. I think it's fantastic. They look very stylish and it's a classic so that's a must-have in your wardrobe. Sneakers are the favorite shoes for women who are on the go and they only fit all day. Okay, don't wear the chunky sneakers because again, for the same reason as a loafer, sometimes they're too heavy or too ugly and it's very hard to style those shoes. Instead, go for a neat and classy like mine, for example, in loafer. That's something you can wear with any type of pants or skirts. When you wear the sneakers, try to avoid wearing socks in the opposite color because first of all it's ugly and the focal point is going to be on this so that's not what you want. Instead go for the small socks if you can so that they can show they're just showing your ankles or if you're like me you can wear them barefoot and you can use a little bit of baby talk or baby powder that for the smell and for any type of transpiration. If you don't like white sneakers or you think it's a bit too difficult for you to style them then try another color for your sneakers for example, the one I love, it's my nude sneaker. They go with everything, black, beige, no matter what. This one is from Zara. I know a lot of you asking me questions about it. Unfortunately, I bought them a couple of years ago, so keep an eye on any type of leather shoes. I will definitely link anyway similar products for you in your description box. For another pair of sneakers, do not wear sneakers or trainers. I think depends on which country you're from. The one you are wearing when you go for a run, they are not the shoes to wear during the day. This is a big no-no in fashion. So try instead a nice pair of styly, classy, even sporty shoes such as a pair of Gazelle or the Adidas, the Supernova. They will do it, they're super comfortable and they still give you this sporty touch. The ballet flats are a big classic and I'm sure every woman at least have one pair in their wardrobe. So you have two styles, you have the one with the pointed one and you have with rounded one. They can be in fabric like this one or they can be in leather. Some ballet flats are, can be really, really flat inside. So if you have painful feet, I will not recommend those type of shoes. If you need a little bit more support inside of your sole, instead you can pick 
make a pair of specialized ballerina with a special sole, you know, with a little bit of a curve inside and that's gonna help you to have a better back support. If you wanna look a little bit taller with flat ballerinas can be a bit tricky because they're flat, but definitely a pair of shoes that you should avoid it are the rounded one because those one a little bit more relaxed look. Instead, wear the pointed one, they will elongate your legs and your feet and you will definitely look taller even if you're not adding some heights in the heel. When you wear your flat ballerinas, try to avoid matching, matching everything from the belt, the bag, the color of the shoes, etc. I will do instead just maybe match one item if you want to maybe the same color of your belt and no more and keeping the bag in the same color of your top. That's just a recommendation by the way, it's my personal opinion. If you want to have fun with your ballet flats and want to wear some colors, try not to wear colors that totally clash, for example like a maroon with a pink that is not going together, it's not the style. So, but maybe give a try with like an old denim look with a very colorful or flat ballet. I really love this look. What is your favorite flat shoes and why? Please let me know in the comment section. I read all of them and answer to all of them. Thank you. Sandals, my favorite are always the one in leather because I have a white feet, foot, I have white feet. <laughs> And because also the leather stretch always a bit, so it's always getting a bit comfortable. More you wear them, more comfy they are. I love them in cognac and also in black. The reason is I have a special palette color for my wardrobe and to me they like super easy to style. Don't wear anything short with a short skirt, for example, with sandals around your ankle. Even they looks really nice, but the thing is the strap around the ankle is gonna cut off your ankle. So instead wear, for example, example a maxi dress you can still keep the same shoes but then the focal points will be less on your feet try to stay away of those gladiator shoes because they can be too heavy on your legs especially for the lady who have some cankles i still don't like this word by the way they just can even bring more volume on your ankles that you don't want to. So instead, I will recommend to have a little bit more fun with sandals. Have you ever tried some metallics, the gold or the silver? They look fantastic and definitely elevate and that fit so easily and it's a fun touch. Some colorful sandals can be so much fun in summertime or even any type of hot climate for me, which is six months of the year. But try to avoid as well when they're clashing a bit too much with the dress or the pants you are wearing. For example, try to wear something in the same palette color even if they're very playful colorful shoes but it will be a little bit more cohesive in the full at look Let's talk about the famous favorite Australian shoes, which is in French will be les tongs will be the flip-flops or will be as well in Australia the fangs very hard for me to pronounce. Do not wear them everywhere. Those shoes are plastic shoes and they're meant to go to the beach. So wear them around a beach area so it will look more adapted to your day. If the fangs are not a cup of tea because of the little piece of plastic between your toes, you can try the beacon stock. They're actually very comfortable, but do not wear them with something very voluminous, like a maxi skirt, for example, because it's chunkiness with some a lot of volume on your bottom legs and it's not going to look really nice. So instead you can wear a very nice long pants in the same in the same color of your beacon stock and just cover up a little bit and that looks fantastic and comfortable. Okay, back to the fangs. This is my personal message to a lot of people. <laughs> Please, you are not ice skating with your flip-flops, okay? So try to don't do like shh, 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 shh. It's driving me crazy. Instead, just be an elegant gazelle with very light legs and just make an effort to do some normal step, you know? And yeah, you get the point.
the slip shoes one of my favorite i really love them because i love the minimalist styles they're easy to put easy to put back and if you're like me at home the rule for my home is shoes off anything so i, ju I just love wearing those but try to avoid to wear them again with any type of shorts because this the type to have so much leather on the top of your tiny ankle they can bring again some heaviness so it can as well just cut off your ankles if you're not comfortable with that you can wear them with a long dress or you can just change the slip shoes with something more pronty to again elongate everything if you like me you like the style of the quilted shoes to me they're super super comfortable and again it's one of my favorite summer shoes but they can bring as well some heaviness to the feet so you have to be very careful with that what i will do instead of wearing something really dark with the contrast of my nude for example i will do completely opposite i will wear something light and um, anything with a white pair of pants with nude shoes they look amazing Are you enjoying my styling tips? Well, fantastic. Let me show you your love by giving me a big thumbs up. And also, please subscribe. 60% of you have forgot to do it. It's okay. Just click. It's free. But for me, it means a lot. And it's a lot of support to my channel. Thank you so much again for watching. I highly recommend you to watch this video, the 10 do's and don'ts wearing pants. I show you many styles with different type of pants. Also, the flat or the heels. So everybody would be happy, I'm hoping. And again, you are amazing. I love you so, so much. You take care of yourself and I see you to the next video. Ciao, ciao.